We yeah. want to talk about the pendulum in these wet conditions. It is so important, isn't it? What is the pendulum? The pendulum is basically the back three. You're looking at the two wingers and the full back. Sometimes the scrum half, sometimes Waldron, sometimes the tens. You find back rowers, different people. It's really, it's like a, a piece of string. Once two people move across, it's just always working together. Always I mean, trying to cover the field. Pretty much. You know, there's so much space there. You have to try and work together to try and cover as much space as you can. Let's take a look at a few examples to show what we mean. Um, this is Saracens against Ulster earlier on in the season. Um, if you look on the right-hand side, that's Wigglesworth dropping back. Not normally a winger, obviously, scrum half, but he's way too flat. He's got defenders in front of him. He should be dropping back to cover the field. Spots the kick a little bit too late and turns, doesn't he? What happens? Well, you don't want the ball to bounce, especially on those 4G pitches. You know, we know the rugby ball can go anywhere. But great ch quick... You look at the chase by the Ulster players there, putting the pressure on Saracens. And this is an example of good work by your winger back on the yeah, right. Yeah, it's Craig Gilroy on the left-hand side. He sees Ashton wide looking for the cross-wheel kick. He drops back, and it's brilliant. And it's, that's a 50-50 up in the air. But look at the kick chase by Saracens again. It's four men against three. Generally, you know, the Saracens are going to come away with that ball. But reading that early means that he's now behind the ball to clear out. Sometimes you overread it, you step forward. Woodburn here has gone far too far past the ball. means he's got a turn to get back to cover, and that's when you find yourself in a lot of trouble in the pendulum. That's it. He's coming so far forward. You have Steenson trying to come across. There's so much space he's trying to get to. He puts in a very cheeky little shoulder here that actually gets away with him. And, I mean, Wiles, in fairness, could have gone through to score a try there. It was, very, it was clever playing the end. I should give Woodburn some credit for getting all the way back there. So let's let's go through a few examples and you can okay. talk about the positional play. Yeah, okay. We'll start over here from a line out on the right. We see this a lot. Win the ball off the top, box kick. What do you want from your back a, three? A box kick is a huge part of the game nowadays. You would normally have your left winger back waiting for this box kick. The full back will be in and around the, the far post with the open side winger up flat. But as soon as that box kick goes into the air, it's the pendulum again. It's about... The, the, the left winger here is going to be going up for the ball. Fullback has to get across as quick as he can. And then the open side winger has to get in as close as we can because it's you're really going to be coming up against a lot of the Reds coming through. So hopefully for the Reds, it's a 50-50. The ball goes up in the air. He's going to get hit almost Winger's man and ball. For what do you ball. want from here? You, you're either going to be caught man and ball. The ball might drop onto the ground. We want to be the people who get onto the ground first of all. On a box kick, they're going to be trying to have their seven, have their wingers, have their ten, coming through hard on it. So it's, it's a difficult place to be. The winger on this one has to really catch the ball or you're, you're under a lot of pressure. It's all about securing out, possession, retaining it, and then getting yourself back yes. again. Let's look at the back three nightmare then, the midfield, the midfield scrum. Yes, just, the midfield. I must just point out, we're doing all this from a high camera, and whilst I was away with Ben last week, he shaved a little dot in the top of my head, just in case <laughs> you can see uh, that. You can't, it's not normally you can't there. See but it, this is a worry. midfield scrum. How difficult is this for you, you guys? Normally have to rely on your nine to be an extra defender here. If your nine goes, instead of digging in the back of the scrum, he goes straight to their first first receiver, maybe the 10, maybe 12, depends I suppose with England, they have two kickers at 10 and 12 there. It means that it can drop the right winger. He can drop a little bit to kind of cover that space so the full back can cover this side. But this is a nightmare. For a back three, you know, there's so much space, there's so much area for you to kick, it's a hard one to cover. You're relying then on the early read of the eyes of both, mainly the full back, but both the wing to read whether they're going to run or whether they're going to kick. If they run, of course, the winger can come up to shut it off, but, you know, it's, it's one, one or the other. It's a hard one to read. And then let's take it over to a left-hand side scrum. We've got our scrum half here. Oh, he's been in the wilderness for a while, but loves things. <laughs> uh, but this is the easiest side of the field for your back three to yes. defend, isn't it? And explain why. So on the left-hand scrum, we would normally try and, once the, the ball gets fed into the scrum, we'd ask the scrum half to come around and act as an extra defender to help nine on the inside to put pressure on their ten if they're going to kick it. It also means that the open side winger can make a decision. He doesn't have to be too flat. He can pull back a little bit. We have the right winger can also drop and cover that space back into that corner again. So we have a lot more of the, sp the field covered. But the problem for you is it comes to the 10, he shapes to pass, the winger steps up and he puts in the diagonal kick over the top, you fall back and then that's when the pendulum works at its best, isn't it? It pulls all the way around the field, he's pulled up, you've got your 15 here and your right-hand wing dropped in. Absolutely. Once that winger goes up and the, and the 10 puts that, I mean, that's the sort of ball I love to come on to. As a right winger, to come on to a cross-field kick, the 15 is trying to get across as quick as he can. I mean, it's, uh, if the ball goes to hand there, it's a tough one for any defender to get. See, there's a lot more playing in the back three than most people think.